Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a really a completely different video than what I'm used to doing. And this is something that can really help a lot of people that are wanting to go to the next level. But I want to put a disclaimer first for anyone just, this is the first video they're watching or they just don't understand the process. This is not something everyone should do right from the get-go. There's certain levels in healing and this goes from cutting out processed foods to animal products to going to, to the next level with that. Um, of course you could just get rid of all those and start eating uh, pretty much fresh living fruits and herbs. But if you're not on at least an all fruit diet and you haven't attempted any type of intermittent fasting, then dry fasting is not even close to where you should be starting. Not at all. Uh, th the problem with this is that if you can't handle intermittent water fasting, you can't do dry fasting. It's, it's, it's that simple. So it's going to take you time to build up. However, this is the king of fasting. And I'm not talking about fasting for days. And everyone that watches my channel knows that at this point, that I'm not a huge fan of that. So, dry fasting is a form of fasting that is done without food or water. A soft fast, uh, a soft dry fast, basically it's going to include showering, brushing your teeth, and then an absolute dry fast, um, or they call it black fast, is done without any contact to any water. So I personally would recommend to do this without brushing your teeth. Brush your teeth after you consume a meal, and then if you're going to be doing this not to brush your teeth, um, you could you know, shower, uh, that, that should be fine, but I wouldn't shower deep into your fast. I personally do that about maybe one to two hours after I drink my last sip of water. And I'm personally up to 20 hours a day dry fasting, intermittent fasting. Again, this is what I'm doing. I have worked up to this level. It wasn't easy. I didn't just you know, stop intermittent fasting and say, well, I'm going to go 20 hours without water today. It didn't work that way. I progressed up with 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, slowly went up to 17, 18, 19, then 20. That's how I do things. So I know how much hydration I need because I'm refueling every day. I know the amount of salt. I do about 1,200 milligrams of salt, uh, which is about a quarter teaspoon and an eighth a teaspoon of salt just to give you an idea at once. So I do one quarter teaspoon, then add an additional eighth of teaspoon. So it's about 1200 milligrams, give or take a little, of sea salt. And then I'm drinking two fresh coconuts um, after I'm uh, breaking my uh, dry fast, and then after I break my uh, traditional fast with liquids, I do that with fruit, and I do my one meal a day. So this is what I'm doing, but again, this is not something that you should start tomorrow and say, well, James is doing a 20-hour dry, dry fast. I'm going to do that. First off, you're not going to make it because you've never done any, any intermittent fasting at all, and you're not going to be able to do it dry. It won't happen. I promise you that. You either A, pass out, or B, um, you'll, you'll just end up drinking water, So, you know, which is fine. And there's nothing wrong with doing intermittent fasting and drinking water. Uh, this is just getting to the next level, so I just want everyone to understand that. You will get some more benefits doing this, but again, this is the most advanced. So, the human body does need water to survive. Some people have blood sugar issues, as I mentioned before. You cannot do a dry fast if you have blood sugar issues. You need to drink coconuts, fresh coconuts, water out of a coconut, and ease into it. Um, you know, the, the body does need water, and I'll get into that here in a moment where the body can actually produce some water through its cells, but it's very minimal. So people think, oh, I'm going to you know, use my fat cells and I'm going to produce some water. It's, it's very, very minimal, folks. So that's not what's going to keep you hydrated. Eventually, if, especially if you're exercising, I suggest do not exercise at all when you're doing a dry fast. I still work out several times a week, but I am not running because of that uh, fact. 
And if you're in a very hot climate, do not do a dry fast. Intermittent, don't do any dry fast whatsoever. Uh, the risk is much, much higher, and it can pose a big problem to you. Uh, so if you're in a hot part of the U.S. or hot part of the uh, you know, country, I'm not suggesting you do a dry fast at all because dehydration can happen quickly, uh, and 12 hours of dry fasting could be fatal. So I just want everyone to know that. Not trying to scare people, but just keeping people safe. So let's take a look here. And dehydration can occur when the loss of body fluids, mostly water, exceeds the amount that is taken in. With dehydration, more water is moving out of individual cells and out of the body uh, than the amount of water that is taken in through drinking. So again, this is why I use coconuts, because they are the most hydrating type of liquid on the planet, but they are not from a bottle, they are from a fresh coconut. I do two of these per day, because I found this is something I needed to continue to do 20 hours a day of dry fasting, especially if I'm going to work out for an hour. I will hydrate with at least a bottle of flow water, I will drink several coconuts after, and this is all before I consume my first meal, and then I'm going to drink some water after that. So I am definitely getting my hydration every day. I have enough salt, and I'm getting more than enough electrolytes from the food and every, the water and everything else. So this is how I've been able to succeed on an intermittent dry fast, and I've been doing this now for several weeks. So I didn't want to post this video until I had... Um, my experience and I have to say that it does bring you to the next level but again it wasn't easy even with me doing intermittent fasting 23 hours a day I had to work up to it and again this is something that you should master each level before you even attempt to do this and eventually I may do one 24 hour dry fast I don't feel it's necessary to go longer than this um, I know some people do but again that's going well beyond when I'm going to ever tell anyone to do. I don't suggest fasting more than 24 hours. Intermittent fasting is very sufficient and it will help you to the next level. Thank you so much folks. Bye-bye.